today i will be taking a online class on science subject class 9 uh, chapter 3 atoms and molecules so before we enter into the main concept of atoms and molecules let us discuss uh, certain laws uh, we know that uh, what is a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction we know that atoms or molecules they interact with each other uh, to give rise to a product so in relation to that chemical combination uh, lavoisier and prouss has given two laws so the first law is a uh, law of uh, conservation of mass and the second law is law of constant proportion so what is the first law law of conservation of mass in this law mass can neither be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction uh for example we can take uh for example like x and y so if uh, x and y are two atoms if we add them uh it will give rise to a product suppose a z so x plus y equal to z so if we consider that the mass of x is 1 kg and the mass of y is 2 kg then the product that is z will be 3 kg that means that the mass of the reactants is always equal to the mass of the product then second we can see in law of constant proportion in this law the elements are always uh, present in definite proportion by mass again we can take the example of water in water we see that there are uh, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen and mass wise if we see hydrogen is the mass of hydrogen is 1 and the mass of oxygen is 16 so what will be their ratio since there are two atoms of hydrogen so we will multiply 1 into 2 it will be 2 so 2 is to 16 if we cancel them it will become 1 is to 8 ratio so this ratio is always constant in a compound so in case it changes then it will give rise to a different compound so the elements in a chemical reaction they are always in constant ratio next we can see dalton's atomic theory this theory was uh, given by john dalton in this theory there are six points so what are the six points first point we can see that um, all matter all matter are made up of very tiny particles called atoms so what is atom atom is the smallest uh, particle or entity of a matter then what is the second point second point we can see that atoms are indivisible particles which can neither be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction so we have already discussed this in law of constant proportion where mass ratio is always constant so same way atoms they cannot be created from nothing so it is atoms already exist and they can neither be created nor they can be destroyed then what is the third point of dalton theory the third point is atoms of a, a given element have similar mass and chemical properties for example we can take any element uh, suppose carbon at carbon element in carbon element uh, there are different atoms carbon element is made up of different atoms so all these atoms they have the same mass and chemical properties because they belong to the same element and the fourth point we can see atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties because they belong to atoms belong to different elements so ultimately their masses and chemical properties will also be different then the fifth point is atoms uh, combine in ratio of small numbers to form compounds so in this case also we can take the example of water 
the in water molecule the ratio is uh, 1 is to 8 so this ratio is always constant in the compound and the last point that is the sixth point is the relative number and kinds of atoms is always constant in a given compound so we can see again in water molecule we can see that there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen this number and kind of atom is always same in the compound so next uh, we will discuss about elements and compounds before we enter into the main concept of atoms and molecules we see that uh, in an element what is an element pure substances uh, that cannot be further simplified so those substances are called elements example we can give hydrogen oxygen iron copper carbon and many others in an uh, element any element if we take a uh, hydrogen suppose in hydrogen element uh, there are different atoms so all the atoms they have similar mass and chemical properties like the element so the smallest particle or entity of an element is called atom then in compound also we can see that pure substances which can be made by chemical combination of two or more elements so those are those substances are called compounds for example uh, we can give uh, water again in water uh, two atoms of hydrogen they combine with one atom of oxygen uh, to give two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen that is if we combine them it will give water molecule so the smallest particle of a compound or the smallest entity of a compound is called molecule next uh, we will discuss about atomic mass unit so what is this atomic mass unit since atoms and molecules they are very minute units they cannot be measured uh, with gram or kilogram units because uh, atom itself is the smallest unit of matter they are very minute in size so a new form of unit has been discovered which is called atomic mass unit to measure atoms and molecules so what is this atomic mass unit atomic mass unit is the quantity of mass which is equal to 1 12th of the mass of one atom of carbon 12 which means that suppose uh, in carbon atom if we break this carbon atom into 12 parts one part of carbon atom the mass of which is equal to one atomic mass unit one amu or one unified mass or one u so that is atomic mass unit as we can see we need to know the atomic masses of some important elements there are 12 elements i have given the atomic masses hydrogen carbon nitrogen oxygen sodium magnesium aluminium phosphorus sulfur chlorine potassium and calcium so we need to know at least the atomic masses of these basic elements so next we will discuss about molecular masses molecular masses in order to calculate them we need to know the atomic masses of the elements so first i have given number one that is hcl so hcl how to calculate the molecular mass of hcl hydrochloric acid first we need to know the atomic mass of the elements present in the compound so how many elements are there in hcl 
two elements that is hydrogen and chlorine so what is the atomic mass of hydrogen it is one u one unified mass and what is the atomic mass of chlorine 35.5 u unified mass so after uh, we know the atomic mass of the elements we will add them so likewise we can see 1u plus 35.5u equal to 36.5u or unified mass then second example we have given water h2o so how to calculate the molecular mass of water in this case there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so how we will calculate them first we need to know their atomic masses then if there are more than one atom suppose here in hydrogen there are two atoms so we will multiply them and then add them so 1u into 2 plus 16u equal to 18u or 18 unified mass so in this way we will calculate molecular mass so same way we can also calculate the molecular masses of other compounds next we will discuss about ions what are ions an ion is an electrically charged particle which can be negative or positive there are two types of ions cations as we can see cations and anions so cations are positively charged ion and anions are negatively charged ion for cation we can give example sodium ion potassium ion sodium ion is na plus and potassium ion is k plus and for negatively charged ion and ion we can give example cl minus br minus that is chloride and bromide T today till this much we will discuss uh, we will continue again in the next video and in order to know more updates please subscribe this channel thank you